It's very difficult to describe Listowel Writers Week in a few sentences. I think that what Listowel Writers Week is, it's a celebration of the town's best known uh, product, and that is writing, because writing has been a big thing in Listowel for all oh, 300 years. And every year, uh, for the Whit Weekend, we celebrate uh, this writing festival uh, by inviting notorious and other writers from all over Ireland, indeed from England and from America, to come to the stall to help us out with writers' workshops, uh, such as playwrights' workshops, short story workshops. For instance, this year we have Benedict Kiley, the great Irish short story writer, conducting a workshop in the stall. Now, where I'm standing at the moment is Bally Bunyan. Bally Bunyan is the watering place of the stall, and it's a place to which all uh, writers who have suffered the rigours of a hard night the night before come in the morning to regain their health and to suck in this beautiful belly bunion air uh, which cannot be bought for love or for money. Now, uh, Listowel Writers Week began about 11 years ago and we started off on a very small scale and we brought in a few local poets and short story writers to conduct workshops and this they did and suddenly we found ourselves in the crest of a wave. Uh, last year in the stall for Writers Week, we celebrated a very important event. For the first time in the history of Writers Week, we had a competition for writing in prisons. And we were astonished at the number of entries we got and at the high quality of the entrance. Uh, finally, we, with great difficulty, we chose a winner and we brought him to the stall for Writers Week and we found him to be a very charming young man indeed. He was serving a sentence at the time, but uh, part of the sentence was omitted so that he could come to Writers Week. He had been put in prison for, uh, he was convicted of bank robbery. And there was a great laugh all around the place when the sponsors of the prisoners' competition, the Allied Irish Banks, when the prize was presented to him by the manager of the Allied Irish Bank in this door, which had been robbed of 36,000 pounds a few years previously. So in a sense, I suppose, it was kind of poetic justice in the verse. But we're always very proud of holding that, uh, that prisoner's competition. We found out that uh, the mind flows in prison more than it does out of doors. And that the mind has more scope for movement. It's not restricted uh, by bars or by walls. We found that uh, the entries of poetry and stories by prisoners was far superior in imaginative content to anything we had ever received. The result was that we hope in a few years' time to expand this uh, writing for prisons to all over. That is to say, England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, and maybe America. Uh, if you walk through the streets of Listowel, you will be quite taken by uh, the number of beautiful plaster cast uh, adornments uh, to be seen on the fronts of, of public houses and business houses alike. Uh, there's one here in particular uh, where you have the lion uh, rampant and there are three different languages where the builder showed off his knowledge of, of, of uh, continental languages as well as his own. You have, for instance, uh, Spesmea in Deo, which means my hope in God. You have my song de Ville, which means the town hall or the gathering place, which is French. And you have the Gaelic Erden Gubra, which means Ireland forever. But when country people would come to town long ago, they used to ask a man who lived next door to where I was born, right across from the line, in fact, they used to ask him what it all meant, because they weren't familiar with these languages. And he used to say to them, Spes mea in Deo means I am a lion. Uh, my song, De Ville, means move away quickly. And Erdem Gabra means, if you don't, I'll do it on top of you. <laughs> the result was that they were very chary and very cautious about interfering with the lion, as Many young books are inclined to do at night with a sufficiency of drink taken. <clears throat> I was born in the house right across the street from the line, and I think that the nicest thing about the stall for the visitor is the warmth and the friendliness of the streets. Uh, there's a coziness uh, and an air of uh, an atmosphere of, of, um, of, of friendship as you stroll around. You'll find the people extremely friendly. And I remember the first. Um, poem I ever wrote and had published was about the street here. Um, it's, I'll just say a verse of it for you to give you an idea of, of what uh, the closeness means. 
Uh, I love the flags that pave the walk. I love the mud between. The funny figures drawn in chalk. I love to hear the sound of grazed upon their round of horses in their clock-like walk. I love to watch the calm of people gawk and hear what underlies their idle talk. Here within a single little street is everything there is of pomp and blessed poverty made sweet. And all that is of love, of man and God above, of hope, despair, illusion and defeat. You see, a street in its own right uh, encompasses all the feelings. Creative writing to me is part and parcel of my life. It's, it's as important now in my life as my marriage. Uh, writing sustains me. I've often felt that I would be in a mental institution somewhere, but for the fact that I had uh, the opportunity of, of, um, of uh, vomiting out <coughs> my worst inhibitions through the medium of writing. And when I started writing first, I was never discouraged. I got rejection after rejection. But I found, and I know and I can prove this to anybody's satisfaction, that this, to be successful as a writer, or to achieve anything as a writer, boils down to unremitting application. Non-stop work. You must find time for the work. Whether you like it or not, it's easy to avoid, to dodge, to put a thing off. But a committed writer who succeeds at his art forum will not be put off. He will never idle. You cannot lag or laze. You must keep at it. It's the most demanding, the most demanding of all pursuits because it calls you, it holds you, it owns you. And one of the things that has uh, upset me a little bit about Writers Week is that we receive entries of plays and stories and um, poems for competition. Enter, entered in the various competitions. And these uh, submissions are re-entered in other areas, in other parts of the world, for other competitions. Now, this is where the young writer makes his mistake, because what you have written is nothing. Any writer will tell you this. Any man in any art forum will tell you that what's behind you is nothing. It's now. It's not what you're going to do tomorrow. It's no good promising yourself, I'll do this next week. You must do it now. That's what writing is all about. Now, this instant minute. Fuck the lot is now. You know? Do you know what we're doing, John? Not an idea. Oh. Well, give, we me an, don't. give me an idea, then. <laughs> we don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll know what we're doing when we get there. Yeah. To Ballybun.